guys, welcome back to Let's Play Zelda Wind Waker. I am Fiery Red Hero 8. In the last episode, we got to Windfall Island, where the pirates were last were last spotted by Quill. And we have to find out what they are up to, but they are not supposed to know about us. I see we have mail, but I'm not going to go get to it yet. My guess is... Well, my, not a guess. I know where they are. They're actually in... The bomb shop. But if you try to go in the door, we're closed today. So scram. Now. Yeah. Like, you really want to go in the front door. No. You can't even get in that way. So you have to be like Solid Snake and Sidle. Again, I really don't know what the hell Solid Snake does. I never played Metal Gear Solid. But still. We just got to be yep. stealthing again, I guess you could say. But if you come back here, you can see there's a little opening there. So let's go. Alright, Link, really? Let's go check it out. I hear the pirate steam. Awesome. What the hell? Why? Why are you stealing bomb? Okay, well, you are pirates, so I wouldn't expect anything less from you. Look, don't be mad at us. It's not our fault that we absolutely gotta have bombs to get the treasure we're after. How about you just think of it as payback for the nasty little monopoly you've been running here, yeah? Still, why do you gotta tie him up? So I bet you're thinking it was foolhardy to ask pirates to pay such an outrageous price, huh? Yup, I bet you are. You know, Gonzo, I still can't get over that bit of fast talking you pulled to get that information out of the postman. Huh? Oh, oh yeah, that was smooth. I tell you, the minute I set my eyes on that link, I just knew he was hiding something back at outset, yeah? So when I saw that postman, I just pretended like I was all worried about the kid and stuff. And presto, he spills the beans! Good work, Gonzo, really. Just top notch. It's funny though, I'm thinking this is maybe the first time you've shown such, w you've shown such wit, such cunning. You know, with your cunning and Miss Touch with smarts, if you two got married and had a kid, that kid would be the greatest pirate to ever sail the seas. Yup, the greatest. You idiot. Keep your mouth shut, yeah? Don't be so stupid. Miss Touch, are you listening to this nitwit? Can't you dock him some pay or something? Oh my god. She's like, yeah, whatever. Quick goofing off, goofing off, both of you. Keep your childish jokes to yourselves and get those bombs back to the ship. The second you're done loading them up, we're setting sail for Outset Island. What? Miss, we have to leave immediately? But it's been so long since we were on shore. Yeah, so much for being a pirate love in the seas, man. We need to fill our bellies with some good eating, yeah? How about we grub tonight and shove off tomorrow morning instead? He wusses. I mean, I, I, I'm i fine either way, of course. Whatever you say is fine, miss, is what I mean to say. It's just that the boys were so excited to come to town, yeah? And I can't help but think it would be awful hard on them to leave so soon without a proper layover. <laughs> yeah, you're actually a caring pirate. So what say we set sail tomorrow, yeah? What do you say, miss? That treasure isn't going anywhere. You're with me, right, boys? Who's for a night of fun? Apparently nobody. <laughs> You're all fools. Do you know that? You saw that demolished island. You saw the senseless destruction. We have to hurry on to Outset, or the same thing could happen there. Huh? Not to be disrespectful, but by the sound of things, you're worried more about that island than the treasure, miss. Don't be ridiculous. I want, you know, the treasure. Oh, shit! Oh, you sly little bitch! Alright, fine. Have it your way. We can leave tomorrow, you big babies. But we're setting sail at first light, so no sleeping in. Understood? Aye, aye! Wow. Say there, brother. What was today's password again? This password always changes, so just because it's on here doesn't mean you're going to get the same one. Mako, are you serious? You forgot already? You're so useless. 
Today's password is Barnacle. Yeah? Remember? You know that Nico won't let you in if you don't say it exactly right. And he's real picky about it, so I'll say it once more. Today's password is Barnacle. Yeah? Ah, oh, Barnacles. Barnacle, eh? <sighs> wow. That just took me back to, like, when Spongebob first came out. You know, I'm, I'm a child of the 90s. So, late 90s when, the, when that came out. You know, hearing their version of cursing was just hilarious. And we don't get chopped to bits. And we can't even talk to him, so... Sorry, dude. Okay. So we have the password, and they're gonna be... Eating, drinking, and being merry, so... We'll leave them to that. We can go up towards their ship. And get on it. Jump on it. Yeah! Because, of course, Nico is left behind because he's the pirate that nobody likes. The ship's only tooth is a... And you actually, where the where there is a capital, you have to have that. Why? I don't know, because I don't know how Nico can hear whether you're saying capital, barnacle, or lowercase. That makes no dip. I guess that's just to make it more difficult. I don't know. Right, right. You may enter. That was a little out. Okay. So, yep. once again, well, there's no guard in Tetra's room, so you can have a look around. And you see... At first I thought this was a girl when I first saw it, with the hair in the back, but thats I don't think that's really hair. I, I guess that's just, like, an ancestor of hers. I don't know who it is. And look! It's like a bellflower from Paper Mario! Sweet! If you look, there's a clue for something later on. You'll see that later on in the game. And a picture from the prologue in the legend. So she follows the legend very closely. And if she's a pirate, I don't think pirates actually... Well, they would wear jewelry, but who knew that they would wear perfume? But then again, if you're on the sea and you don't take showers a lot, I'm sure you stink. So I guess perfumes would be an accessory for any girl pirate. Oh, Link! My old swabby Link! So you're alive? All the other pirates said you got done in by that bird monster in the Forsaken Fortress, so I thought... Never mind what I thought. You're alive! Oh, I get it now. You came back because you missed me so much. I had no idea you wanted to be my swabby so badly. I see, I see. Yeah, right. Well, after you left, I went back to being the bottom rung on the ladder. Which is why I'm stuck here while everyone else is in the town having fun and eating and stuff. But I guess being so worshipped by my swabby ought to cheer me up. Alright, why don't we set you on your next test, huh? This one is harder than the last. Good luck, you'll need it, swabby. You can see there are lanterns hanging throughout the room, right? Well, last time when you pressed the switch, platforms rose up for you to jump onto, right? Yeah, well this time, there aren't any. It's great. Which means you have to jump from one rope to the next rope. Pretty tough. It actually can be a little nerve-wracking. And that's not all. This time I've put a gate on this door, too. The switch opens the gate, but it'll close if you don't get here before time runs out. Run out of time, and you'll have to try it again, little swabby. Okay, fine. You think you're such a badass? Well, guess what? I don't think so. The switch that opens the gate is in the same place as before, so go step on it. If you get all the way to this side before time runs out, I'll give you the bombs we got in town. Yeah, you heard me. I guess your testosterone level's a little high today. Give it your best shot, Swabby. Alright, we will. Yeah, this um, can be a little, ner little nerve-wracking, but it can be done. And hopefully I won't screw it up. Like I said, you know, let go of the analog stick as soon as you swing. Because if not, you will overshoot. And ironically, you get to jump up like that, reposition yourself, and you don't even need to get to that other lantern. Sometimes you can even get to this other lantern, and thankfully I made it in time. But that was my own fault, because... Can we get it? Yep. No, I did not! I suck! Great. Of course, I do it perfect before, but then I can't do it the right way. And I'm sorry, but I'm going to re-step on this switch. Because I don't want to run out of time. Okay. 
Now, like I said, it can be a little nerve-wracking, and where these lanterns move, that can be a bit of a problem, as was just shown. Okay, let's do this the right way. And I'm not going to half-ass my swing, because that's half the reason why I did not make it. Alright, let's go! And we didn't quite make it to the lantern, because you can! I'm thinking to myself... Because you can't make it to that other lantern all the way out there in the middle without getting the... This one! Fuck! It's not really hard, but it, I mean, it's a little more challenging than the first one, and... If it... Okay. If I miss it again, then I'm just going to cut to that when I get to that other lantern. Because I'm sure you don't want to see me do this, like, ten times. Alright, come on. First one's easy, as always. Get to this one. Move like that. Okay, obviously. You know what? Let me try something that I should have done last time. Because this lantern will shift. Maybe I can catch it. No, I cannot! What the hell? Don't run off, Link. See, I don't even know. Like, seriously, how do I get onto this? I mean... There's got to be a way to do it. Or maybe I just can't do it because I didn't make the jump properly. No, there we go. See? I didn't think that was impossible. No, Link. Stop. Because now I'm fucking this up. Oh, my God. See? Oh, my God. This is recorded also on a Monday, so I'm still kind of in a... Not a bitchy mood, but... Stress mood, let's just say. Alright, come on. Not half-assing my swing. Come on. Ah! Oh god, for a second I thought he didn't get it. Okay. This is it. If I can get this. Don't don't be cocky. Oh shit. Ha! -ha! I did it. What? You've gotta be you did it already? You're you're incredible! This isn't good. I've never even passed this test. How could it do it so quickly? And make it look so easy? And if I give this to him, everyone will know for sure. Oh, I'll be so busted. Uh, okay. You're the best swabby of all time. So, I guess I'll just give you the bombs. Go on, take them. Just don't tell anyone, okay? I'm serious. Really serious. Okay? Okay? Okay, dude. Really? Man, your life sucks. I feel bad for you. But I'll take the bombs anyway, because we need them. More than some stupid pirates. Bombs! Awesome! And we carry up to 30 right off the bat. Pull one out, press A to throw it, or R to set it at your feet. Okay, we know bomb controls by now because we've used, we've used bomb flowers. And yes, you can use them on the sea with a built-in cannon on your sailboat. Yay! That's mighty courageous of you, trying to steal treasure from pirates. Huh? I suppose I should be shocked, but I'm more amazed that you managed to survive after being tossed out of that tower. From the look on your face, I have to guess you haven't saved your sister yet, huh? You don't give things much thought, do you? You just rush in, never thinking how badly things could go for you. Like just now, the only reason you got what you did was because we left a simple-minded little rat like Nico behind to look after things. No one else would have parted with our treasure so easily, I assure you. And just how do you intend to use those bombs anyway? Don't tell me you're going after Jaboon's treasure too. Right now Jaboon is hiding in a cave at the back of the island you were born on. But the entrance is blocked by a giant stone doorway. You can't get in without breaking down the door. We're going to relax in town and eat our fill of whatever this town has to offer. But we'll be leaving for outset first thing in the morning. If you manage to find Jaboon tonight, then I guess you win. But if you take too long, we'll come sailing right by you tomorrow morning. And believe me, you didn't get all of our bombs. You better be quick, kid. Wow, awesome! You have a stone just like the one that Miss Tetra has. Hey, how do you use that thing? Can you talk to Miss Tetra through that? Man, you're so lucky! Yeah, I am lucky. Yep. Poor Nico. I actually, like I said, I feel bad for him because if he's like the lowest pirate ever they won't let him go have fun and yet he doesn't leave that just shows you how much his life probably sucks so you got to feel bad for the guy 
but he helped us out, so now we have some bombs. Alrighty, back on the stormy island. And actually, let me see. Because I read in the guide that we can get a song right now, but I don't know if I can... Is he there? No, he's not there. Oh well. I'm not going to go get it then because we cannot. I didn't think you could because it's storming out. Oh well. Actually, now that... Well, we can go to that post box to see what's in it. Let's see. Link! Stop hitting your head! Good evening! Letters for Link. We have two letters. Here's your letter. Okay, more spit. Notice from Beetle Shop Ship. It's time for our semi-annual Big Chance Extravaganza. We have a new product that has burst onto the scene. Bombs! We're having an extra special sale on this choice item for a limited time only. You'll know where to find us by checking the enclosed Beetle Shop Ship chart. Visit a Beetle Shop Ship near you today. Offer not available in all regions. Don't miss the huge opportunity. Beetle. And we get Beetle's chart. Sweet. You can open it and you'll see where he is amongst all the seas. And usually he's around most islands, but again, I'm not sure where he is everywhere. But we will check that out. If you wish to be a true swordsman, find some knight's crests and return to me. Orca. We get 20 rupees that we cannot pocket. Damn it. God, I'm so overloaded with rupees. Okay. Let's go to the charts and look up Ting I was Tingle's Beetle's chart. So yeah, he is a lot of places. And there's one over there with a helmet, which is kind of weird, but... Yeah, he's in a lot of spots on the sea. Cool. But we ha now have bombs, which I'm going to actually... Well, no, we don't need to do that yet. But I am going to stop the episode here, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Peace out.